saying blue. Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Jeff Exclamation Point. I'm here with Dawn. <laughs> and we're doing a quick uh, walk around uh, Epcot because they're doing a Festival of the Arts, which is my all time favorite festival that they do here at Epcot. I'm going to go broke today because everything here is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And Don just saw something else that's really cool. What did you find? All right, join us. We're going to be uh, looking at a lot of cool artwork today. We'll see you in a minute. Oh my gosh, I want this. Here we go. How that work? Here we go. It's looks like forty dollars. It's too much. It's too much in here. That is amazing. Gang, I'm gonna go broke today. Going broke. We have the creepy side of Disney. Oh, look at that. Oh, little Freddy Krueger looks so sad. He just wants to kill someone. My major complaint last year with the art festival were the Tervis sizes, because they were the small Tervis sizes. But this year they got the big ones. But if you've been watching the vlogs, you know how much I need another Tervis. How cool is that? Seriously. Might be coming home with me. That is so cool. But we've only made it to like three or four booths so far. Uh, and uh, there's a lot I want to get. So I might just be getting a whole bunch of lithographs today. But I need some, I need some happiness in my apartment. Come on, I've been working hard. I deserve it. What are you looking at, Don? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those paperweights? I have these, like, these are my favorites. Aww. Oh. It's too much. It's way, it's just too much. <laughs> oh, look at that. I know, I love all that. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Here we are, walking around in happiness. Oh, my poor little heart can't handle some of these. This is absolutely a horrible spot for me to be in, especially now that I see a haunted mansion one. I mean, like, I need that. I need it. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously. How cute is that? Yeah, that's so cool. Alright, when I say I'm going broke today, I'm definitely going broke. I've already purchased. And I will probably be purchasing again. That is so cool. I'm just look at we're looking at the same thing. Nope. Nene. No? No. I remember riding this. And being terrified. I could not ride it because of that. Yes, I, I remember riding this when I was a kid. This one right here. And it terrified me. The fact that the abominable snowman was in there. In fact, the only way I was able to ride it is back when they had the skyway that went through the manor horn. You remember that? Yep. And you actually were able to see the abominable snowman. Oh, I closed my eyes there. On the skyway. And so now I knew what he looked like, and that was the only way I was able to ride the uh, manor horn when I was a kid. <laughs> Look at the eyes. They're like, it's almost like two red lights in there. It's so cool. All right. I'm in love with all this steampunk. 
just I could never afford any of these I'm sure oh my gosh just look at these Alright, those are pretty amazing. Anybody want to give me some money? Just wondering. And here is who is performing tonight on the uh, Broadway series here at Epcot. Alright, so Don and I have decided it is beer 30. So we got our beers. That is so good. And then Don got an apple strudel. This is mine and that is yours. I get apple strudel. Mm. Mm. Alright. Not exaggerating. Mm. The gods are singing. Mm. <laughs> How much was the uh, the apple strudel? $4.86. I will say that that one little piece of apple I had is worth the money for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to eat up and then we'll probably uh, look at more art and I will probably buy more things mm -hmm. I shouldn't buy, but I really want because they're pretty. Alrighty, see you soon. So the pretzels, the John Bill pretzels right there, <clears throat> they cost $10. Leave a note in the comments. Let me know if you would pay $10 for that pretzel. I would not personally, uh, Don. Heck no. So leave a note in the comments. Tell me, would you pay $10 for that pretzel? So we're in the House of Good Fortune in the China Pavilion at Epcot and they actually have items to dress up your dogs. Look at that, you can put them in a little kimono. No, sir. No. Oh. Here's a little bit of some of the products they have in Shanghai Disneyland. Well, look at that. It's Miss Shanghai Disney herself. <laughs> and look at the cute little Shanghai Disney coat she can wear. Oh, Don found something. Look at how cute. It's like a little, it's like a little wonton. <laughs> it's a little wonton bag. It's so cute. With the pandas. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. Ooh, no. Eh, the sun is bright. Ah. All right, so Don and myself, we just walked through the Odyssey to see what's going on over there. What was happening? Nothing. Nothing. So we're going to go check out a couple more booths and see if there's anything else I want to spend my hard-earned money on. And other things to put on a wish list and, of course, uh, some other pieces I'm going to beg you for. <laughs> I just went to Starbucks. Uh, I got my refreshing iced tea. Yum. Uh, of course, they wrote Jeff on mine, but on Don's, they wrote Queen Don, because they know. That's right. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be it from uh, Don and myself here at Epcot. I bought some stuff. Yay! 
and uh, we're not done yet. I'm going to go home and I'll show you what I got. But that's it from Epcot, so uh, I'll see you back home in a couple of minutes. All right, gang, haven't forgot about you. Uh, it's the next day, and I am going to show you what I got, like, completed, like, in a frame. So I'm over here at Michael's right now, and we're looking for frames. So we are looking at frames. I need a 14 by 18, and black would be nice. But they only have one. But everything's buy one, get one. And I like a good sale. But they do have it in the gray. Which this looks pretty tempting right here. Because you know how much I love my gray. Pretty much my whole house is gray. I don't know. Let's see what else they have. All right, so I did some looking around, and it's looking like my best option. Well, I could get something like this, but I just don't like how thick that is. But it's definitely looking like my best option is to go gray. Hey, what's going on? All right, I am back home. I got my artwork framed, and I want to show it to you. All right, I'm very excited. Um, so I went with the, the gray frames, because, you know, BOGO, and it actually turned out very well. So let's look at the first one. So I got the uh, Epcot one I was showing you guys, and I absolutely love it, because it has all the original costumes, kind of when Epcot opened. It has kind of nods to some of the original attractions that are no longer there, like uh, Food Rocks and uh, Cranium Command. And of course, you know, Olaf with the new Frozen ride. And I think this is just a great Epcot kind of artwork, if you want. Yeah, artwork. Uh, and the colors make me happy. So uh, this is the first one I got. And uh, let's take a look at the second one. For anyone who knows me, when we go to the Magic Kingdom, there is one ride there I have to ride every single time. And it is, some people say sadly, I don't think so, but this is my favorite ride at the Magic Kingdom. And it is the People Mover. And look at this artwork, I absolutely love this. I, the colors make me so happy. It's a great little uh, artist rendition of my favorite attraction at the Magic Kingdom. And every time I look at this, I just want to smile. I'm going to do it for this episode of Jeff Exclamation Point. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the Festival of the Arts at Epcot is my favorite event. Uh, so many unique things over there. Uh, the thing I will complain about with Epcot and their events... They have those little food stations everywhere. We get like little bite-sized samples, but you're paying $10 for like a bite-sized sample. Like they had a, a, a donut, a trio of donuts, and I kid you not, the donuts were like that big, and there were three of them, and it was $10. Like it was ridiculous, some of the prices over there. So I don't eat when I go to a Epcot for the festival food uh, anymore, because it just got too ridiculous. Uh, but the artwork, Oh, and I gotta tell you guys, uh, ask, if you are an annual pass holder, ask if there is an annual pass holder discount for the artwork. Believe it or not, both those pieces I got had discounts attached to them. So I got 10% off each. So each of those uh, pieces were at $40. Uh, by the time I got my discount, I was paying $32 for each. Uh, and that is quite the deal. Uh, so please, they said, uh, not all artists are offering the 10% uh, off, but the majority of them are for annual pass holders. So do not be afraid to ask. Ask, ask, get that discount. All right, everyone. So thanks for watching. Take care. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, lots more videos to come. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.